Grace and peace. I'm Brian Muster, the Baptist Campus Minister at Drexel University, and this is Peace and Power Christian Fellowship, the peace of Jesus Christ to change your life and the power of the Holy Spirit to change the world. I am introducing a new series, a series on spiritual disciplines, spiritual disciplines, and the whole person. We are looking at how the spiritual disciplines can help us in our whole person become and be conformed into the image of Christ through discipleship. A lot of this will be based on the great commandment, which is found in Mark. And here are some verses that deal with it. One of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating, noticing that Jesus gave them a good answer. He asked them of all the commandments, which is the most important. The most important one, answered Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. And what we're going to be doing is taking those five pieces, heart, mind, soul, strength, and neighbor, our social context, putting them as a definition of or a building blocks of who we are as a person, looking at a human being as the heart or will, the mind and thoughts, soul and feelings, and not just like Hallmarkian sort of sappy feelings, but like joy, love, hope, peace, those types of strong feelings, strength or body and our physical ability to change the world around us, and no neighbors, our, our social context. All these are the five pieces of who we are as human beings and looking at how spiritual disciplines can actually affect specific parts of this so that we're turning our heart more into what would be comparable to the heart of Jesus, so that our mind is thinking God's thoughts, so that we feel um, God's feelings, so that we use our body in a godly way, so that we engage others in a social context in the way Jesus would do it. How do we use the spiritual disciplines to affect each of these five areas in a way that each of these five areas will help us become more like Christ. And looking at this, this is kind of the idea of it. Looking at submission, the not my will, but thine be done idea of how to actually submit our wills to God. Sabbath of not willfully, of willfully not doing anything. How those two spiritual disciplines can actually affect our heart, affect our wills, and turn our wills to God. Study and meditation, especially the study of scripture and meditation on scripture, how that will change our mind into the mind of God. Souls, feelings, worship, especially celebration in this idea. And then silence, how that can affect how we know who God is and feel like God would want us to feel. Then strength or our body, serving others and fasting. And then neighbors, social context, confessing to one another and solitude, stepping away from the social context so that we can engage it even more fully. These are ideas that we're going to be looking at. How can we use these spiritual disciplines to impact these specific parts of who we are as people so that we are working towards becoming more and more like Christ? As always, there will be three ways to join this conversation. In person, Sunday nights at 7 p.m. in the Gemic. This will be starting in two weeks. Live Monday night, 7 p.m. via Zoom. That link will be below in the um, descriptions. And a specific start date for both of these will be below in the descriptions. And these weekly wrap-ups on YouTube and or WordPress. So you can always follow along, even if you can't join us particularly on Sunday and Monday nights. And there will be content also on social media, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, WordPress, YouTube. Those links will be in the description and I will be keeping you up to date via social media of how we are working through these ideas. So that is what Peace and Power Christian Fellowship will be looking at during the spring term 2022 at Drexel. Anybody and everybody is invited to join us. If you actually want to become more like Christ, here are some tools, some spiritual discipline tools that will change the different parts of who you are into the image of Christ. I hope you join us and would love to have you be a regular part of this conversation.
Thank you and look forward to seeing you.